Hi folks, my name is Hermit in the Forest. This is my unboxing of Fallout. Fallout is a role-playing game featuring isometric view that takes place in post-apocalyptic world after a nuclear war. Uh, the war made some rich people move into the underground walls, that's some kind of shelter, and those people were spared of the horrors. Uh, the ones that stayed on the surface actually were, were killed or they were mutated either to the form of strong uh, mutants or fragile zombie-like ghouls. Uh, you are playing as a member of the vault, as a descendant of one of the rich people. And uh, the vault faces a big problem because he has a water purifier chip that purifies water uh, of radiation so it can be drinkable and this chip broke so they need a replacement and uh, they send you outside of the vault to find this replacement so that is your goal in this game you travel the wasteland uh, fight various raiders and irradiated animals you recruit party members so actually you play with a party of characters although you only create one at the start and once you return with the chip, you are exiled, so the ending is somewhat bad for you. Okay, let's take a look at the box art. This very nice box with unusual shape. As you can see, now I can flip the front cover and you can take a look inside for some pictures from the game and text about a game yeah I can also turn the box around and see the back side for even more text about a game yeah it's just saying that this is the fallout nuclear survival kit on the back side okay very nice big box now I open it and let's take a look inside. So, first of all, there is the game itself in a jewel case. Here is the game CD and some text. On the back side, there is the same thing as on the back side of the box. Next. There are some advertisings for Earth 2140, strategy game, also advertising for Interplace TSR games. So yeah, for example, Baldur's Gate being advertised here, Descent to Undermountain and Dragon Dice. So, kind of games catalog. Next, there is Interplay Productions Reference and Troubleshooting Guide. So, technical info and hotlines and such that you could use at the time of this game's release. Next, there is Vault Dweller's Quick Reference Card with the vault guy, vault boy, the front cover installation of the game setup and such so how to start playing and hotkeys game controls well and of course the last thing in the box is the Vault Dweller's Survival Guide or the manual that is spring bound as you can see. Take a look at the table of contents. The manual is very thick, so there is a lot of info here and nice pictures even as you can see. 
we're starting with some general info and vault statistics something out of the story about the nuclear war and uh, blasts as you can see there are nice pictures funny ones so some story some additional publications that can help you on your way like how to eat red very nice and funny stuff so no here is the game interface here is how it looks like cursors something about com starting combat button and the skills you know the vault personnel yeah so here are the pre-generated characters that you can play or you can create a custom character you don't have to choose one of those pre-generated ones but you can create your own if you are experienced role player here are the skills or attributes more likely attributes yeah some derived statistics and yeah here are the skills this game features heavy role playing so there are attributes skills then there are perks and lots of them so there's a lot of variety and possibilities to make your game uh, to make your play through this game a unique experience yeah. Yeah, some menus something about the pip boy that you have in this game and other useful stuff about combat yes here, here is combat action points and costs weapons armor how to end the combat even some st uh, status is negative once radiation here you can see some equipment that you will find in this game the best is the power armor of brotherhood of steel Yeah, here are the perks. Again, some role-playing stuff. And some appendices. Here are the credits. Take a look at the people who made this game. And even more. Again, the hotkeys, and this is the back side of the menu. Okay, that is all that was in the box. I thank you very much for watching this video.